In the land of Turaja, a remote region of Indonesia, cliffside effigies and graves testify to a culture as fascinated with death as ancient Egypt. Funerals are the most important rituals in their culture. Here in Turaja, beloved relatives receive their favorite dishes three times a day, even after they are dead. Tarajans don't immediately bury the body of a family member. They keep the embalmed corpse and treat it as if it is still alive. Families here prefer to wait until they can afford to throw a lavish funeral. And that may take months, even years. Agus Lamba is shopping for a gift for the funeral of his great aunt. I'm looking for the pigs uh, because I'm I'm going to bring it to the funeral ceremony because my auntie is died last year. Agus's great aunt, Mrs. Mendon Dali Pong, died almost a year ago. Ever since, her body has resided at her family home. Even in her casket, she is considered sick, not dead. Mrs. Dali Pong was a member of the noble class and had a large, influential family. People here believe her spirit demands a lavish funeral. Relatives lift the massive coffin, which resembles a traditional Tarajan house. They carry her almost a mile from her home to the field where her funeral will take place. It takes three hours for the funeral procession to reach the ceremony field. For her family and friends, this is the moment when Mrs. Dali Pong's spirit leaves her body. But her spirit will need help reaching paradise, which they call Puya. Because of Mrs. Dali Pong's noble status, her children are spending thousands of dollars to give her a proper funeral. The event is so big and elaborate, the family has hired funeral planners who manage the ceremonies. Everywhere, from the gold leaf decorating their mother's coffin, to the hired entertainers, the family's wealth and prestige are on display. Tarajans believe that the more lavish the funeral, the easier it is for the soul to reach paradise. Mrs. Dali Pong's children want their mother's spirit to have the same status in paradise that she enjoyed on Earth. To that end, they also plan to sacrifice many water buffalo, symbols of wealth. People here believe the more they send with Mrs. Dali Pong, the easier it will be for her to enter paradise and the more blessings her spirit will bestow upon them. Before they are sacrificed, buffalo fights provide the funeral's most dramatic entertainment. It's heaven sometimes, and it's dangerous. Sometimes they hit people. The time has come to send Mrs. Dali Pong her transportation to paradise. The mourners sacrifice almost a hundred buffalo. But the meat won't go to waste. Mourners can take it home. Finally, Mrs. Dali Pong's family and friends are ready to bid farewell to her spirit. The family prepares her body for its final resting place. In a cliffside mausoleum, the family quietly inters the body. They seal the tomb against grave robbers. Nearly a year after her physical death, Mrs. Dali Pong finally rests in peace, and her community has forged new bonds for the future.